morning. Yeah. Hi, hi. Good morning. <laughs> good, how are you? That's a very good vlog. Very good, very good. Uh, hindi, plug pot lang ito gani. <laughs> Did you see the people in ano? Sa? Kita mo naman ang kadamo ng tao gapon. Where to get the Geek Daily shirt? The cat. It's front? over there, dude. The front? It's, yeah, yeah, the front. It's near the, uh, right there, right there. Near the other merchandise over there. Thank you. I got this for free yesterday <laughs> but, uh, at, the, at the trivia game. Nakunan mo gapon ng kadamo ang tao. Sir, morning, Lord. Morning, morning. Two days drinking. Ah? Two days drinking. Oh, sir. Oops, sorry. That's Sir Paul Medina. Morning, dude. Oh, hey, dude. You're on the vlog. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Nick. Oh. Is that my video? Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Good job, good job. We might ask for some footage there. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, uh, just let me know, lang. Back. <laughs> Morning, morning, morning. <laughs> Morning, dude. <laughs> hey, Clyde, what's up? You guys are on the vlog again. <laughs> Good morning, Mig. You're on the vlog. <laughs> Thank you. 
are starting to crowd in. Good morning, Sir Jay. Take two. Welcome. Take two. <laughs> You're in the vlog. I know. You're in the vlog, my friend. How are you? I'm fine, Dandy. I haven't seen your ass in a long time. Well, you can take a gander if I know. I lost it. Lower the camera. Lower. No, I'm not at all. I'm a noob. Remember? I haven't vlogged in ten years. Mig, good to meet you. Are you? You're on the vlog, man. And what kind of a cow on today's bong? Pork CC. Ah, you also. Seventy pesos lang sulit. Din. Din. Sa may takoyaki, sa may ano da? Sa grocery tapi. Free advertisement. Question. Sorry. What does TGDCC stand for? Ready, get set, and go. Ayaw nyo? Ako na lang. <laughs> What does TGDCC stand for? Ready, you set, go! Unless gusto nyo, ako naman masakas, babo. After healing! After healing! After healing! After How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Here, the Hugo Award. You get this from Top Tokyo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Miller. I don't forget. Next prize is from Adventurers Nook. All right. What's going to be the next trivia question? Let's make it a little hard. Uh, oh, just a little harder. Oh, shit. Harder. Give me one name. One name from an employee at Mystery Shack Gravity Falls. Just one name. Ready? Ready? Get set and go! Uh. Wendy is correct. No bad. No bad. And uh, what's your name? JM, we get this from Adventurers. No, thank you so much. And uh, Wendy is one of the employees at Mystery Chat. Thank you so much. One more. Aside from Wendy, who is the other person employed at the Mystery Chat? Ready, set, and go! Oh, damn it. <laughs> hey, Sus. Sus. <laughs> One of my favorite shows. And um, in a short while, in a short moment, we will start with uh, getting to know Paul Medina. Stay here, we'll be seeing each other the whole day, right? Thank you so hey, much. Hey, dude, you're on the vlog, man. Both of you are on the vlog. What's up? How's your convention experience so far? Pretty great. Uh, it's one of the best conventions uh, uh, ever since, since after the, uh, or rather, you know, during. Uh, after the pandemic, rather, in that sense. I'm hungry. <laughs> Anyway, 
maraming uh, generations na ang uh, naka-experience no, ng, ng pugat baboy. And one of the main questions, I know siguro parating tinatanong ko sa inyo. Uh, pa, before I go to that, uh, paano nag-start yung pugat baboy? So, ano ang yung nag... Bakit, bakit, Sir Paul? Bakit baboy? Bakit pugad baboy? Actually, ang nakakita ng aso eh. Yung alaga ko kasi aso sa akin. Kaya ko usap ko. Tapos, sinagot ako eh. Sinagot ako. Sa sobrang kalungutan ng Sir Paul, kinakausap mo yung aso mo, tapos yung aso mo, yung aso mo, sumagot. Ay, sige, sige. Yes, yes. So, ayaw ko kamatay. Well, speaking of that, Sir Paul, we've seen na bugat, nakita mo naman yung reception of Iluino. 24 hours, siguro. Ano ko natin na eh. Currently, tama yung pinatagan ko. Pero, naubos. Ladies and gentlemen, palapakan natin. Iluino has supported. And hindi pa, I think, di ba, ilalabas? Hindi pa siya ng lunch. Nagkataon lang na nakagawa siya ng mga copies. Ibigyan ko talagang ko lang So, the first 100 copies of Marcos Special is launched here, was sold here. So, Ilo Ilo has the first 100 copies of Pugat Papoy Marcos Special. Wow, palapakan natin, ladies and gentlemen. Palapakan natin. What a treat for TGTCC to have the first Marcos Special. And of course, speaking of the Marcos Special, how do you feel putting out this particular special, Pugat Baboy to Marcos Special, especially now during our current administration? Ang presyo doon ang buhay ngayon, 550,000 na rin. Ang gano'n po yung presyo ng isang Marcos Special Board of Mr. Paul. Ayun, yan. Mas mura pa yung buhay. So, mamahayo lang sila sa bilib. Pero, do you feel wala namang pressure? Or how do you feel about putting out yung Marcos Special sa public, especially now? Mix feelings eh, kasi yung buho pa din natin. Ilo pa naman ako eh. Malakas yung ilo pa ano. Galing yung parents ko sa papa, tsaka sa tabo. So, Marcos na yung patuloy. So, sa tabil na namin, ako pa rin yung natin. So, lahat sila, lahat sila bro. Lahat sila bro. So, it's not just sa sa other side, sa of the spectrum of sa binabentahan. Also within your family, Sir Paul. Oo, masama na pala sa akin. Masama na. Especially si Golo ngayon, ano ba ba si Omar ko special? And to think, it is sold out in Iloilo. Isang labas lang. And Sir Paul, may I ask, what inspired you to write the Marco special? Ito po, sir, kasi lang kung ano ko yung designation ko si National Books na yun. Non-fiction. Non-fiction siya. So, lahat ng talaga yun ito. At sa Israel. Kasi, kumukuha ko ng mga yun talaga sa itop ng kayaan. Lahat ko ka ng comedy based sa Max. Real life, no? Real life yun. Na-experience ko talaga yun. And that siguro, kaya nagre-resonate sa na makikita naman naman Sir Paul, iba't ibang generations from fathers to sons kasi it is personal and it's experienced by everyone. But talking about na non-fiction yung Pugat Baboy, can you tell us more? Because I would also like to know more and I think lahat naman kami would like to know more about Blood 
of the Sinubi. Ayan. Pa pwede mo kami uh, bigyan ng counting uh, background about what inspired you and ano nung tungkol si Blood of the Sinubi, Sir Paul? Ano pa rin ko eh? Bakit ano yung kasi spin off? Spin off siya. Sa, sa Pop 31, na tayo magtugo ng Sinubi. Tugo ng Sinubi. Tapos na uh, bata pa yun ko, si, si Pablo, Pagdating na lang yung first na blood of the Shinobi, after 33 years ng uh, events of Pugat Baboy. 33 years ang yeah. past after Pugat Baboy. Yeah. Kaya makikita niyo sa cover na dito pala si Igno. Ah, kaya pala! Nakalala na si Igno at saka si Igno. Naka-wheelchair na sa I thought, ano lang, parang, uh, uh, anong tawag doon, parang cameo, parang standing cameo lang yung Pugat Baboy. So this uh, blood of the Shinobi is in the world sa world of Pugat Baboy. Parang Pugat Baboy verse. Parang gano'n. Oh, yung multiverse. May multiverse. Meron tayong pag may multiverse yung Marvel, meron tayong sa Pilipinas, Pugat Baboy verse. Kaya may mga hints. May mga hints yung ano nangyari. Kung sino nang pangasawa ni Iba. Kung sino nang pangasawa ni Iba. Nakalagay na lang dito. So, para uh, there's talaga continuation and medyo para closure sa ibang characters. So, kasi yung sa Pugat Baboy, hindi sila tumatag na. Yung mga bata, uh, 9 years old pa, hindi na yun, kahit na 30 years old. Right, so, yes, and Paul Gass is probably the oldest no, in uh, the world. Oo, <laughs> dapat 9 years na sila eh. Kaya siya, may bigong tao eh. <laughs> And nagpakikita mo naman uh, sa Paul na si Paul Gas may, may parang may blood of the Shinobi rin. <laughs> Ay, kasi parang siya ninja eh. Kasi lahat ng fantasies ko pinapagawa ko sa ramin. Sa so, yung action star eh. Yeah, so tell me what you do. Uh, wala na akong super followers. Pero ako ang happy din. Pero uh, paano mo Sir Paul, as a writer, uh, how do you come up? Because marami dito, we have our artists, Ali, and up and coming, who want to write their own comics, and who have written their own comics. Uh, how do you find inspiration, or saan ka na kukuha ng inspiration mo about material, or paano ka sumulak ng uh, uh, a strip or, or isang comic? Ang pag-umpisa lang yun sa ngayon, big idea. Big idea. Ang ending, kaya na-conclusion na yung mga lutas ng ending. Magagawa ko na dapat yung ending. Saka magawin body. Yung body na story. Pwede mong lagyan ng conflict. Pwede mong lagyan ng conclusion. Lagyan mo ng twist. Kaya importante, nandun yung big idea. Nandun yung, yung, yung beginning. Dapat action. Para mag-capture mo natin yung audience. Tapos ako. Oh. Yan. Dapat alam mo kung paano siya mag end Kasi, kagaya na nangyari sa Bebop TV shows, hindi na lalo kung parang na i-end eh. Kagaya ng Game of Thrones, hindi pa na isusulat ni George at R. Martin and Rina. Kinapos nila, talaga sloppy eh. Dapat, dapat alam mo talaga kung paano na i-end. Sir Paul Medina is start with your big uh, story or a big idea and then doon ka na mag-revolve kung saan yung twist kung saan yung ano. Kasi, uh, nahihirap daw about writer's block and all of these things. Paano mo na-address yun, Sir Paul? Uh, kasi, lahat na naman natin ang story. Kaya, hindi, hindi ka mga wala ng material. Dapat si, dapat pa, si, si Rebel Writer, yung writer ng naman, Kujo. Sinabi sa kanya yung church na our party, hindi ka mga logos na ng ideas. Sabi niyo, hindi eh. Sa pag-aaw ko pa lang natin dito, may nais na natin. Lahat pwede mo lang yan ng humos, Chris. Bale, so in everyday life, kahit dito lang, kahit yung usapan natin ngayon, this could be something na pwede nating, could be a story, could be, could be pwede gawa ng story ah. Oo, meron nga nagpapasign na rin, nagpapasign ng story sa rin. Kita na po, para tinigong ko ito. Kasi ito yung editing ko eh. So sabi niya, para sa akin. Tapos ang tagal na rin yun, ang tagal na rin ang gano'n. So ako sabi niya, ah, oo na ito yung paalam mo. Ano pa ka pangalan niya sa akin? Jim Jim. Sinasabi niya. Para sa akin, pero hindi niya sinasabi niya. So, may humorous 
So, may pinatawa yung pangalan. Uh, kanino yung dedicate para sa akin? Nakala ko nilagay mo, Sir Paul. Two sa akin. Pero <laughs> dito yun eh. Sabi na kayo, Skyler. Skyler? Kasi nakakala ko. Sabi na kayo, Skyler. Sabi na kayo, sumulog ka sa cellphone. Ay, malapagat ako. Pinakit nila sa akin. Sabi ko, pwede ko yung sulat mo na lang. Sumulog ka pero parang takot ako. Parang doktor. Sabi ko, may parang kasus mo dito. Parang lang ko na yun. With that, Sir Paul, alam ko marami pang marami pang gusto ng bumili ng Marco Special. Can you tell us, our viewers, and of course for our documentation, as it opens na, is there a chance for our fellow Ilonggos to get the Pugan Baboy Marco Special, and paano? As we speak, kasi eh, ako uh, yung printing ko lang siya. Kaya lang, kaya lang po, kaya hindi na lang ako kasi yun lang yung, yun lang yung natubi. Swerte naman na nangalabot. Pero, Monday, uh, i-offer na yan sa Lazada, sa si Shopee. Uh, tapos, natakilala na ako sa Comic Odyssey, sa Comic Quest, uh, Film Bars, Secret HQ or Sagan Mismo, Mr. Sagan Mismo. So, page to Mismo, to Paul Medina page, which we follow, of course. So, you can follow Sir Paul Medina Jr. on his Facebook page, on any updates, and of course, on the release of the Marco Special. And, again, just to find out na tomorrow, Monday, bukas pa, officially, magiging available yung Marco Special on Lazada. Wala nang iba eh. Wag na tayo sa Shopee. Doon na tayo sa Lazada. So, yung sa Lazada, available na yung Marco Special. So, Marco Special, kung ganda po yung Marco Special will be available bukas pa. And today, the first 100 copies is sold out. It is sold out, but we still have copies of Blood of the Shinobi which is also part of the Pugan Baboy Burst. Dito natin talaga yung nakoy yung Pugan Baboy Burst. And dito na yung Blood of the Shinobi 5 is available. And of course, if you want your copies to be signed by Mr. Paul Medina Jr., the creator of the Pugan Baboy Universe, just go to his table. He's there. He's signing, doodling. Always has a smile on his face. Kapus na naman yung experience mo outside of the con na kaikot ka ba sir Paul? How do you find it lugilo? Lugilo eh. Ano kasi ko para tingnan lang yung kabulo ng mga sa main concert. Ah yes. Concert talaga kung masaya yung mga nalilo. Tapos pumunta ako sa kapila ng concert kasi pumunta ako ng gym. Wala, wala. Sabi ng staff niya ko si Joseph. Kahit napakasin ko ito, wala mong pamak sa hindi. Kahit gabi na, so wala ka po. Did you feel safe naman maglakad sa area at night dito sa Iloilo? Safe na safe siya. Dalawa ko lang ako eh. Hindi ka na, pinatip ko na ako eh. Sa Pino eh, sa Tegal. Sa Tegalo na lang ako. Kaya, nagpapakalit mo talaga na lang. And I hope, pwede nating basahin ng mga uh, writers or comic book illustrators. Yeah, I'm just si si Manik Sabrayas, ang uh, Kiko Kosu, at just si Tato Caldo, si Tato Caldo, ang uh, Kevin Raimundo, at just si Tato Madaya, ang uh, Kuchay Eddie Comics. Uh, online lahat ito. Online lahat sila. Si Manik sa uh, physical books na uh, They have physical books and online sila, so they have adapted with the times. Oh, digital. So we will try and contact them and have them available for all the Ilongos who are following the Geek Day Collectible Convention para to access naman ninyo. So with that, Sir Paul, do you have any messages to the participants and everyone watching? sa ating first ever PGDCC. Uh, 
yung ano, yung ilagay ko sinabi pala yung wala na kasabot kasi ito na yung conclusion. Ay, tapos na. Uh, ito yung sinasabi ko, kailangan alam mo kung paano yun. Eh. So that, the uh, last one is here. Kaya natin ito yung pinakalasta. Uh, kasabay nito yung pagsumubrat. Ano, so hindi ko siya officially na na-launch na. na Pero masasabi ko, dito ko na natasin yung pinakatawaming cosplayers. Umuulat eh. Kung 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 Marami, umuulan. Umuulan ng cosplayers. And dumadami pa, Sir Paul. <laughs> and there will be more. And, uh, and uh, the last, uh, the conclusion of Blood of the Shinobi is available sa booth ni Sir Paul Medina Jr. And of course, on your purchase, pwede kayo magpasign. This is a pop-up event. Sir Paul Medina Jr. is not here forever. Ladies and gentlemen, palapakan natin. Sir Paul Medina Jr. Thank you, Sir Paul. Thank you.
Um, specific. I was asking for the year, but congratulations for winning our first prize for today. Please give them a round of applause. O, diba? Kaya ka free lang lang sa prizes. Okay lang ako pala. Ano guys? Go lang. It's okay. Oh, you spent wrong answer, but at least you tried. Yeah. 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 Mr. Axel, you're in the vlog, man. What the fuck? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not Hey, what's up, dude? You're on the vlog, man. So, which campaign are we on right now? There's <laughs> literally two campaigns in one table. There's one of them named Maximus Aurelius right now. <laughs> You're on the vlog, Master. Oh, hello. Kurabi do vlog. We're not going to kurabi. It's a good thing I lost my name. So did I. I'm down to a size 36 now. I'm a size 30. Oh, good. Congrats, huh? congrats, huh? Amazing. Come familiar, David. Oh, 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 he looks family to me. Thanks.
Congratulations! You're still alive! Very tiny arms! Yes! Okay, jump shot! Jump shot! Jump shot! Jump shot! Jump shot! Jump shot. Okay! Make a logo Okay. Ano na kaman? Inep, inep. Wala ka bang ginagawa? Pinatayas si Bumek? Pinatayas si Bumek? Pinatayas si Bumek? Hey dude. You're in the block dude. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Tired. Tired. Food. Chair. Oh, help. Hi, Mashi. You're in the vlog. Hello, everyone. Okay, Sir Jay. So, so what can you say of this uh, awesome experience here at your convention, the Geek Daily Collectibles Convention? We are overwhelmed and we are so happy with the turnout for uh, our first The Geek Daily Collectible Convention here in Iloilo, partnered with SMCT Iloilo. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we're packing up, but still it's so many people, there's so much people coming in. Uh, we have had a number of hundreds, a hundred, more than a hundred uh, cosplayers. And we would like, we, I would love to thank uh, Busudachi events, thank you very much for the su support, all our sponsors, and we'd like to invite everyone watch out and follow us on the Geek Daily Collectible Con on Facebook and on Instagram and watch out for the next con coming soon. Ano, masay mo sa experience mo sa TGDCC? Oh, how good! Next year na ba na? Next year na ba na? Bali sir, I just wanted to ask lang, uh, so so you've been here, sir, at TGDCC. So what? How can you describe your? Uh, ano mas niyo po sa experience niyo po dito? Ah, very friendly mo tao. Tapos sa pin pachoy. Tapos ako pala yun na ano na yung tent sa Manila iba yung lasa ng tent sa Iloilo kasi nagarito talaga siya. Ah, uh, first time ko sa Iloilo. Pero hindi ako na kachance na bisita yun ng Duenas. Isa sa mga story ako. Uh, but next time na uh, makabalik, baka pwede mo. Kasi na uh, busy kami dito sa, ano, sa The Geek Daily uh, Collectibles, collectibles uh, <laughs> Convention. Yeah. Two days kami dito, talaga gano'n. Uh, grabe yung, ano, yung accommodation sa akin. Uh, yeah. Sponsor nila yung, ano, yung buong set ko. Uh, <laughs> tapos, uh, ang, yung, yung, mga, yung mga tao, ang dami ko palang fans na ilong ko. Mm. Kahit na Ilocano ako. Kasi ako yung Ilocano na against kay mga Akos. Mm. <laughs> eh, yung Ilo-Ilo yan. Lenny Cante. Yeah. Kaya tama-tama, dito ko nila yung unang first printing. Yung bago ko nila na, ano na, Marcos Special. Ubus. Mm. Ubus siya. First day pa lang, ano. Uh, hindi lang mga lahat yung three-fourths na nawala. I see. Tapos ngayon, mga as of two o'clock na hapon. Talagang totally ubus na yun. Tapos sa dala ko. Kaya, sayo. Kasi ang accomplishment na yan, sir. Sige, sige. Thank you po, sir. Thank you for your time. Ayo, man. So, what can you say for your experience in the TGDCC? It was good. A little crowded, but it was good. Sirs, excuse me. Sorry for the vlog lang, no? For the, ano? So, I just wanted to ask, sir. So, how would you describe your experience at TGDCC? Sulit talaga. Enjoy. Nice. Sige, sige, sir. Thank you. How would you describe your experience at TGDCC? It's fun! But... It's fun! I'm so touched! Hi guys, good evening. Sorry to bother you guys. I just wanted to ask, how would you describe your experience at TGDCC? It was awesome. And we... We sold a lot, so 
we are okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. 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 <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> okay, um, how would you describe your experience at PGDCC? Uh, quite tiring, but definitely good. Uh, <laughs> thank you, dude. How would you describe your experience at PGDCC? Uh, the as usual on setting is like very busy and you know, a lot of people. As usual. <laughs> people right now uh, in two days I never expected it that's gonna be a lot of people but it's really fun though yeah it's, it's fun. fun it's fun especially with you have those kind of holes it's really fun yeah, it is yeah. thank you guys but thank you so much for thank inviting you. us thank you thank you for inviting us we appreciate it how are you doing? it's awesome but it feels good uh, to have like an event like this after a long time ever since the uh, pandemic hit it, uh, it's worth the payoff. Yeah, how, would you, well, how would you describe your experience at PGDCC? Uh, I, think, I think it's great. That there's, there's this mini event like this. It can be held in a public space which allows everyone to interact and meet out. And it's nice to see that these are Brightens up this um, place ever since mm -hmm. the pandemic, and I look forward to more events like uh, <laughs> months to come. So, how would you describe your TGDC TGDCC experience? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, it's been a while that we've been out. And, uh, back to this. Back to business now. Speechless. 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 <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, thanks, thanks, guys. How would you describe your TGD, TGDCC experience? Uh, as a merchant, of course, we're very, very busy because of the crowd. And we are very happy because we're very Thank you. Thank you. How would you describe your TGDCC experience? It's uh, very much so much fun. Mm -hmm. After several years of no pop culture events in Iloilo, um, it's because of the pandemic. It's nice to see the return. Um, this was one of the um, big events when, uh, since the uh, cases are now low that we saw so many kids. Um, so many new pieces in the pop culture scene after um, almost um, 10 years. Uh, I, no, way back in, when we started pop culture events in 2010, um, we've seen so much evolution. Mm -hmm. And then there's a stall and now we see that it has even resurgence even better than before. And then hopefully this is the start of many more events in Iloilo. And I really congratulate the, the Geek Daily Collectibles Convention for holding this. Thank you. How would you describe your TGDCC experience? My nose fell off! Oh that's, my god! That's the best hey thing ever! My nose fell off! It fell off on the ground! It felt, it felt like I was Michael Jackson and then there's this woman who just stepped on it and was like, My nose! I felt like this is down for it. like, oh no, no! I that was my experience! Oh, it feels Oh, that's all right, Uki. That's all right. I mean, that's all right. My nose fell off. You know how that feels when your nose fell off? I can't imagine. <laughs> Good, but I can. How would you describe your TGDCC experience? Um, it was tiring, but worth the fun. Especially so going around tight, but it was really fun. All right, that's it. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Uh, Langa, how would you describe your TGDCC experience? Actually, it was very fun, but also, as usual, as a merchant, it was very tiring, but very worth it. Kaudid, how would you describe your TGDCC experience? I had no expectations going in. I had zero expectations. I was just, I just wanted to be helpful, but overwhelming, you know, I think it was very overwhelming. Yeah, 
And you, man, you've been here since day one. Thanks. No. For the Thanks. <laughs> How would you describe your TGBCC experience? Uh, first of all, overwhelmed. <laughs> Especially the first day. Dama dama, okay, yan ang katlo day ka, nagbara ka, which is so, the queue ups and that, ito, medyo, tuwa lang kami na, so first day, ito, medyo overwhelming, pero at the same time, happy, kay, makahatag kami isang, daw, habinig, isang mga tao, nga, mga geeks, nga nagkatlo, subo nga event, kay, especially, makakita na, na, favorite nga nga items, nga sun, ila, nga favorite captors, or favorite weapons, makakita na, sun, dada, sun, makita mo lang, spark, kasi ila, nga mata, nga, Oh, paborito ko niyo. Okay, natin sa dyan na kami at the same time makapapapit sila. How would you describe your TGBCC experience? Kind of cool. Oh, yeah! Look, oh. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> this is how much of the epoxy I have to use. I did so. How would you describe your TGDCC experience? <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> okay, dude. So, how would you describe your TGDCC experience? Uh, I was surprised with the. Uh, I think people were excited to be back. And uh, you know, pursue the passion, and uh, I think more people actually were added. Uh, more people, you know, gained a gained a new hobby mm -hmm. because of this event. So yeah, uh, we should keep continuing this event. That's my, you know, I would look for look forward to that.